Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy V. All right. Um, real quick, the elf, uh, the elf frogs in this area teach the blue magic pond song. So I actually changed everyone to a blue mage and get it, uh, just to, so I, I could get it. Um, they only use it when they're alone, so they normally come in uh, groups of three or two with a, a, an ice soldier. Um, so, yeah, I just, you know, take care of two of them and then um, eliminate it. Um, we've taken a, quite a bit of damage getting here, so, um, and of course, changing classes. Uh, screwed up my hit points a bit, so let's do that. Uh, let's sort out a little bit. Uh, Equipment-wise, so the Elf Mantle... Let's go ahead and... Nope. Put that on... Yeah, the Elven Mantle. Cloak that sometimes evades physical attacks. Um, defense goes down by one. Magic defense goes up, and ice is the worst thing that's going on uh, there. Agility goes up a little bit, and magic goes up a little bit, so let's go ahead and equip that. Um, and... Let's get these silver specs on you. And then on Gallif, let's get the healing staff. Magic will also go up with that. Alright, so... Uh, I think we're pretty good. Uh, Ferris is actually three points away from um, getting her next level taken care of, which is might actually not be the best thing. Uh, I am probably going to want to start cycling people into Blue Mage so that I can get learning on everyone. Uh, so a situation like this, I don't have to just put everyone into Blue Mage in order to get it. Because uh, I was doing it, and, and they did Pond Song on, like, you know, five times. Four of them were on Lena in one battle. And it was like, alright, fine, I just need to change everyone into a Blue Mage. Um, and uh, what that does is it, it just inflicts the frog status. It's not great, but I, figure I might have figured I may as well get it. Alright, let's... Let's try this now. I am Shiva, the Ice Goddess. If you would command me, first you must prove your worth. Okay. You're gonna do your Blizzara. Alright, I think that I am not going to divide up my fire spells. I think I want to take care of these guys pretty quick. If I can. Eh. Okay. Good. One down. And for now, I think I'll just have Gallop attacking um, people in the uh, party. It looks like Lena isn't going to have to be next. Ooh, good. Critical attack missed. Nice. There goes the Elven Cloak. Don't miss. Lazara on you two. Probably need to do a Ferris next. Although. Hmm. No. Alright. There we go. He is taken care of, so we, we don't have to worry about uh, um, too much extra damage now. This will make a big, big difference. Yeah, focusing on, on those guys, I didn't expect them to be quite so tough, I guess, I should say. Definitely go after uh, Ferris. Ald can take another one of those. Alright, Lena can take another one of those, so I'm okay with that. Um, let's go after... Let's go ahead and heal you up. There we go. Good. 
Good. Good. That's what I want to see. They can take a bunch of those before they need healing. Yes! Victory! Yep, it was just all in the, uh, the strategy. Received five ability points. Ferris gained a job level. Gained equipped shields. And we got a frost rod and a longsword. Received the summon monster Shiva. Sweet. Um, okay, good. It did flow over into uh, two points into the next level. Uh, so the higher tier knight abilities are like equipped shields, equipped armor, equipped swords, that kind of thing. Um, but when you max out a class, you get uh, some ability bonuses, like I'm pretty sure for knight it's strength, um, that will get applied to the freelancer uh, class. So... Um, it, it really is a good idea to master uh, jobs. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and just do some healing. And I'm going to take you off that. Go ahead and get back onto the, uh, the flail. Alright, um... Let's take a quick look at the magic. So, of course, we got those, we got those. Uh, hastens the pace of battle. Not sure exactly what speed will do. Slow, slows the passing of time for one enemy. Gradually restores hit points. I'm not sure if that's one of us or everyone or what. Mute silences all allies and enemies. That's a time magic spell? Haste. Hastens the passing of time for one ally. Summon. We got Summons Chocobo. Summons Sylph. Summons Remora. Summons Shiva. Doesn't actually tell us what any of them do. Spellblade. Alright, so some of the spells that you buy will also allow you to do Spellblades. Chance Blade to deal fire damage, ice damage, lightning damage, uh, sleep, and silence. Um, they're pretty cheap. Uh, blue magic, so we've got Pond's Chorus, inflicts one enemy with toad status. Uh, arrow, Goblin Punch, and Vampire. Vampire is really, really good! Because, I mean, it won't deal more damage than you have taken, but if you've taken like 150 damage, boom, 150 right there. I don't know what the max is, and we don't have any songs yet. Um, let's see. Does this go out? It does. Whee! Also, if we go around this way. Whee! So this is what this door is here for. Alright. Uh, let's go rest at the inn. Yes, please. I want to stay. Alright, let's see. Anything else? Um, the Jackanapes there do have something, but I don't want to deal with that yet. Um, I think if I get everyone with learning, uh, and then I get flee, and then, like, set everyone as knights except for one person who has the flee, and, and maybe set them as a freelancer. Um, so everyone would have guard and learning, and then uh, the one person who's a freelancer has flee and learning. They will suffer some damage, but we'll put everyone in the back row, and we will actually try to get that, but probably not yet. Because uh, that's going to take a little bit of grinding in order to get learning on everyone. I may do that. For now, though... We have a uh, meteor that has uh, done some damage to the uh, mountains here. Walsh Meteorite. Okay. Nothing here. 
All right, for now. Into the Tower of Walls. Oh, dear. It took us by surprise. Karul has never tried to attack anyone before. Karul suddenly went berserk and stormed into the tower. We didn't stand a chance. The king went after it. Some unknown knight went in, too. Uh, you could have actually encountered Garula um, out on the world map, but it wouldn't do anything, and you wouldn't get anything for fighting him. So, you know, not much point. Um, do -do, let's see. All right. Is there anything in here that we want? Um... Nope, nope. Nope, doesn't look like there's going to be anything here that uh, has a special ability. It's kind of a shame, actually. Alright, well, let's get ready to uh, search the tower for goodies. Pretty basic uh, tower. Oh, hello. Ricard Mage? Don't slow me. Although, if you're gonna slow, then that's okay. Slow the same person. points, though. That's not bad. Might actually be worthwhile. Uh, nothing special there. There... Oh, hello. Garula's upstairs! Please, save the crystal! Okay, but first... Head into the water, and we've got a pasta soul and a wyvern. Which I think, if, if I remember correctly, in the original um, PlayStation 1 translation, that was the letter Y, burn. Space burn. Y space burn. I mean, it's not technically wrong from a transliteration perspective. Ferris gained a level, Ald gained a level, Lena gained a level, Galif gained a level. And we got a potion. Yeah, let's climb up this vine. Obtained a silk robe. Uh, let's see. A defense up to uh, six. Magic defense up to eight. Sure. Let's go ahead and equip that. Oh, I love the, uh, I love the little, uh, expressions on everyone's faces. Bane Maiden's Kiss! I was kind of expecting things to, uh, you know what? You need to die first. Although the Pass to Soul does a lot of damage, too. Uh, so the monks have a counter, which is pretty nice. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, never mind. Never mind. That worked out. Uh, because Lena is equipped with the Ice Rod, if she attacks, she will heal the Ice Soldier. Nah, I don't think we need to say. Well, actually, I, I've learned a, a, a valuable lesson here. Um, there we go. This should be my save slot for uh, in the middle of episodes and stuff like that. Attack that one, please. Attack that one. And miss. Deal a lot of damage with two two-handed. It is pretty nice. Uh, let's see. 
those all the... Okay, there are going to be a couple more items coming up. Alright, well, you can fight elf toads here, so... It's good to know. They're pretty susceptible to the uh, ice rod. Pretty nice. Pretty vulnerable to punching as well. Some wyverns. Hmm, zero. Nice. Critical hit. Two AP at gained chakra. Alright, so chakra. Healing energies recover hit points and cleanse the body of poison and darkness. It's pretty good. I don't think it uh, restores MP, which would be nice. But, oh well. Alright, let's see. Are we. Okay. I don't think that, um... Hmm. Okay. Just checking to see, uh, what we got to deal with coming up. Mainly wondering if I was going to have a an opportunity to learn a spell. Um, not sure that I wanted to go up right there. Uh, well, I think that just tells me that which way to go. We want to go this way first. Why is this a thing? Why is climbing up vines in this tower a thing? Obtained a silver armlet. Rather than the leather shoes, equip weight does go up a bit, but magic defense and defense goes up, so we'll definitely go with that. Can't get over there, so let's fall back down. Whee! Grab this goodie, an ether. And up we go. Water crystal time! They're controlling you, aren't they? Well, I won't let you destroy the crystal! Oh! Well, that didn't work out so well. Uh-oh! Here it comes! Probably should have healed up. Gorilla is an enormous, enormous uh, elephant-like beast. Alright, so, let's go ahead and attack. Um, can we... I don't think it has any weaknesses. It does not. Can we put you to sleep? No. Ow. Uh, now, one thing that it will try to do is turn itself back from a uh, frog, but let's try that. There we go. Aw, oh, look, he's a little toad. But he counters that right away, so. Ow. Jeez. Um, alright, well, I bought a few Phoenix Downs for just this type of reason. I think I might put Alden in the uh, back row. Oh, come on. So if I had the guard ability on him, that would actually be uh, pretty good. Because then he would counter, don't die good. I wonder if that, that his counterattack interrupted the uh, two-attack routine. Well, it doesn't matter, because he's dead. Received five ability points. Got a uh, high potion. Uh, you could steal a potion from him. Yay. What's going on with the crystal? Look! The crystal. Why was it... Why were there some uh, lights... Flickering in. Oh, well, shoot. 
Wasn't me. I didn't do it. You breathed on it, and it broke. We're too late. Ugh. Uh, sir? What? What is go- Where are you going? Collapse. Ugh. Lord Caliph. Me? You know who I am? The Lord Caliph couldn't protect it. For forgive. Hey, stay with me, man. Please, tell me who I am. Fire crystal protect. Ugh. Blinded by the light. The crystal fragments are glowing. Are they going to give us their power too? Uh, yes, but we have to actually go pick them up. Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Time mage. Is that really a warrior spirit? Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Mystic knight. Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Summoner. Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Berserker. Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Red mage. Wait, what? What's going on? The, the tower, it's sinking. But there was still a shard that I didn't get. Can't actually go over to get that one. But it might have a good class in it. Well, looks like we'll have to come back later. What the heck is going on? It's melting! Melting! And here you drowns. Ah! It's Sildra! Sildra! Oh no, he's eating us all! Well, she. Sildra, you're alive! Nom 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 nom. The sea serpent just pukes us all up. Sildra! Sildra, you used the last of your strength to save us. What are you saying? Sildra, you can't die. I won't let you. We have to go out swimming to... Say... Aw, oh, man, that... That sound every time. Sildra, thank you. S Sildra. Man, that little that little cry every time. Well, we still have our hear you. Let's take a quick look at the uh, the new classes that we've uh, picked up. So we've got Berserker, always berserk in battle. These feral warriors sacrifice commands to gain attack, strength, and power. Uh, they can use axes and I'm guessing clubs. I don't know what that third icon actually is. Uh, Mystic Knight, able to enchant swords. These magical warriors automatically cast Shell when hit points is low. Time Mage, masters of space and time. These mages easily bend all dimensions to their will. The, uh, the little conical hat just, just kind of makes it. Summoner, sorcerers with the ability to summon magical beings and harness their power. 
Red Mage, versatile mages versed in both black and white magic. So these are our new classes. Standard uh, Red Mage outfit. Fairly standard summoner outfit. Um, actually, let's cycle through. So, um, Ald in the uh, knight form is the, you know, standard Final Fantasy 1 fighter. Um, the thief here is pretty standard Final Fantasy 3 uh, thief. The berserker, um, he wears a wolf pelt. She wears a, I guess it's like a tiger pelt or something? I'm not sure. Uh, the Mystic Knight, this is definitely a reference to, uh, Min, Minwu, whatever, however they spelled it in, uh, Final Fantasy II. Let's see, we got, a still the conical hat, still the little horn, and still the standard, uh, red mage hat. Although, it's covering up both of their eyes. And then Lena, it's, you know, tilted back a bit. Uh, let's see. Same basic stuff. Um, I'm not sure if this Mystic Knight is a reference to anything. It's kind of odd. Um, she's basically wearing a tiger bikini here. And Galif is also wearing a, uh, a lion outfit. And his Mystic Knight is also a reference to uh, Min. Uh, and fairly standard outfits, although you can see more of his eyes than uh, the others. None of the Red Knights, to my disappointment, were really a, quite an update to the uh, Final Fantasy 1 sprite. Um, you know, Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 3, and that, that always kind of disappointed me. But the Red Mage is really good because uh, you can start learning the, the Red Mage abilities, and then you don't need... Um, you know, if you are, uh, as a blue mage, you know, then you've got both white and black magic. So you've got that, that good versatility. And their master skill, the final skill, is a fantastic, fantastic skill. But it also takes 999, uh, ability points to learn. So, yeah. It's gonna be a little while. Um, anyway, uh, Galif is two points away from, uh, getting another level in White Mage, so I'm definitely gonna stick with that. Ferris, I think that we're going to change you right now into a Mystic Knight. I think getting these abilities will be, uh, pretty good. Um, hmm, two-handed is really good. So is Guard. I think we'll go with two-handed, though. We'll stick with that. Get back on the silver specs. And I'm going to leave uh, everyone else as is. Uh, Ald still has a ways to go for another uh, level of Monk. Um, actually, Lena has quite a ways to go for another level of Black Mage, so... Oops. Let's actually change you over to a red mage for now. All we've got is black at the moment, unfortunately. Well, actually, you know what? In that case... Um, in that case... Let's make you a summoner for now. And then you can have uh, black there. And take the Elven Mantle back. Alright, uh, I think we'll call this an episode here. We've uh, taken a look at our uh, new stuff. When we come back next time, um, we'll double check that uh, meteorite and then I guess head back to Walsh and see if uh, everyone made it out okay. See you then, everyone. <laughs>